Are we on? We're on. Welcome back, YouTube. Oh no, RPG Gamer here. We are in Freeze Land. Last episode, we recruited Wamon, we recruited Shelmon, and we also had our rematch with the bandits. If you remember me saying briefly at the end of the last episode, we are going to try in this episode. Oh, we got an absolute gruesome sport to play. We're going to try and recruit Penguin Mon. Um, to do that, you have to beat Penguin Mon in a game of Digimon Curling. Take care of this guy real quick. He's like a Ice Ogre Mon. I mean, for a random Digimon, like battling that you can battle, he's got quite high HP. Like 2000 HP, and he's not even like a boss or recruitable. That's impressive. He's been hitting the gym and shit. Still no comments guys, still no thoughts, still no input, it's all for you. Every episode we do we get closer to uh, Kai passing away. So if you wanna, you wanna see your ideas on the gameplay for everyone else to see, i.e. the name of the Digimon, the Digimon you want me to try and get, you gotta let me know. Okay, we're just gonna. He looks cold as ice, get it? No pun intended. We're gonna fry this guy quickly. I'll take care of him, nice. <laughs> Building up a little bit of cash now as well, that's, that's a good thing. Okay, so we just. Ah, uh, you really got to be hungry right now. I'm trying to explain stuff here, Kai. And you can fuck off and all. Okay, so you head over to the right side of Friesland. Far furthest screen on the right, and we have this little guy here, Penguin Mon. So, like I said, he is recruitable to the File City on one condition, and his condition is that you beat him in a curling match. Another little fun side game, once you recruit him to the city, he actually opens up a curling arena inside a Greymon's arena, so that's a good little thing to have. The idea is, well, it's pretty much just a, a standard curling, you throw your different size, I don't know what they're called, sliders I guess, throw them down the uh, aisle, and you got to try and stop them in the point section. So that one's like quite a heavy one, so we go about that much. It's looking good guys, it's looking good. And we scored a point, that's a good start. Now because they don't have, you can get ones that have like legs that stick to the ice. Neither of us have any of those sliders at the moment. So neither of us can, there you go, he's going to try and knock it out of the way. That was the point I was getting to. He can throw his sliders, try and knock you off the good. Sabotage. So yeah, we have a go. He has two. We have two. I think it works a little like that. He's going to try and knock ours off here. Jammy bastard. He's done it as well. But he's done it too hard. And we'll keep the point. So he's currently winning 4-1. He's, you know, he's taking no prisoners. We're going to try and knock his off now. Fuck you, Penguin. Nice bit of power with a heavy puck. Give that a nice big shot like that. So we took his out the points. Changed the scoring around a little bit. 2-2. Two -two. It's all square. What have you got? Uh, looks like he might just be trying to get that good again. Yeah, and he's done it as well. Of course he's done it. He's programmed to do it. They make this quite difficult. So we're just going to do exactly the same again. See where it says delete area? Uh, that marker's there just like if you throw anything and it lands the other side of that it doesn't count. But if you line it up with the D like that, well a nice bit of power and shove it straight out of the way. It's going to hit his bang, nice. 
All the power transfers into his, so we don't have to worry about moving ours around too much. And we've taken him off the points again. As well as scoring another one, I make that 3-0. It can all change on this last puck. He can literally knock all three of those out the park. He's a bit of an arsehole, this guy. Okay, now we have to be a little bit careful because if we try and knock that red one out of the way, we're going to actually end up knocking ours. So I think we'll play it safe and we'll go down this left-hand side, try and get at the bottom. About three quarters. That was probably a little bit too high, actually. But we hit that. Oh, that couldn't have worked any better. That was brilliant. If he lands on the bad, which it looked like he will, and we landed on the good. Five to minus one. He's got to literally rearrange the whole lot if he doesn't want to come to the city. Oh, that was a... I don't understand what he was trying to do there, but... That's it. First try done. I'm happy with that. We beat him 4-1. Six minus one. That's a big throw. Doesn't matter where we throw this guy, so we just give it a little bit like that, so it stops short of anywhere. Just to play it safe. We don't want to try anything magical. There you go. We beat Penguin 1, 6 to minus 1. And that is all we need to do to recruit him. He should now join the city. Off he trots. And yeah, if you want to give that game another go, or you enjoy playing that, that now becomes available in the arena for you to do. Now, there's uh, another big part of Friesland is the Ice Sanctuary. Uh, in the Ice Sanctuary, you can do things like, far well, I say you can do things, the idea is to get through the Ice Sanctuary, get to the end, you beat up a load of Digimon and you can recruit the Angel guy, Angelmon or something like that. But we can't actually get into the Ice Sanctuary with Greymon. Now, if you remember in the earlier episodes of this playthrough, when we recruit, well, uh, lua recruited that shit don't make sense when we recruited Bakemon outside the mansion just pause it here real quick when we recruited Bakemon outside the mansion to get into that mansion you need a certain type of Digimon and it's the same with the Ice Sanctuary you need a certain type of Digimon to get in there I can't remember if there's any other places that require you to have certain Digimon but I know those two are uh, pause it here real quickly because you see the igloo behind me. I was saying in the last episode that if you take a Digimon that likes hot places here and he passes out, that, this is where you'll end up. The uh, snowman Digimon will come and rescue you and this is actually his little house. I mean, I'm click, click, clicking and I don't see like nothing's popping up to say about it, but I think that's a little bit time consuming. Like we probably won't go for that on this playthrough because it literally means standing there and waiting until he gets so cold that he flops. This, however, is another big part. We're just going to check our health. That is the recruitable Gururumon. It's a two-part recruitment. You have to beat him first time. And then, basically, he's going to he get all whingy and complain and say, Oh, it's not fair because you were there and you like throw and tell him what to do and shit like that. So he'll ask for you to have a rematch. Now you agree to your rematch. Come back here at either 4am or 4pm. And Guru and Mom will be waiting for the rematch. But you're limited in what you can do. I don't think you can either... You either lose the ability to heal him. Or you lose the ability to tell him what to do. It's one of those two. I can't remember which one. It's, quite a, it's actually quite a tough fight. When we get Gururum onto the city, if I remember rightly, he joins, he's another one that likes to cook, so he joins a restaurant. Uh, all of these guys that join the restaurant, by the way, they all offer different different dishes. I think they all do pretty much the same thing, like the more expensive ones have the higher effects. A couple of stat increases, decrease tiredness, increase happiness, things like that. Uh, one thing I just realised is we are bummed out of MP and we only have a couple of SM recoveries so we're gonna be relying on a finishing move here 
not only getting one, but making sure we use it to hit him rather than get interrupted like we have done a couple of times. I keep saying we, guys, you're not to blame for this. This is my poor coordination when it comes to launching finishers. Just to make that clear. Kai's doing well blocking these attacks, though. They, they deal like five, six hundred. That ah, oh, you gotta be shitting me. Okay, well he didn't block that one, but we'll chuck a couple of these at him. We'll wait for him to launch an attack so that we know he's not gonna do anything after that. Oh my days! Okay, scrap this whole idea. This could be it. This could be the end. One more hit, and we're done, guys. We'll actually lose a life. I can't believe it has happened. And it's all because of under preparation. He's down for the count. We've got nothing we can do about it. Most probably means we'll lose a defense chip as well. Unless he wants to take a potty. Maybe he needs a shit. We've been defeated. One down, guys. Not good. Okay, so now we return to Gigi Ron's house, and uh, I can't believe that just happened, but yeah, we've lost a life. Let's see what Guru Rumon took from us. Well, he didn't take the defense ship, but he did take all our food, so maybe he's just a greedy bastard. Now, if you remember me saying, when we found uh, the card stall in Gear Savannah, there was the also the recycled item shop, which allows you to... Rebuy items that are lost when you lose fights to Digimon. Well, we can't even... We've already had the meat from Palmon, so we can't even replace that. We need the money we have to buy chips. We're in a bit of a sticky here, guys. This is Wildmon. He basically gives you the option to... He can take you to Factorial Town, the machine place. I've been calling it the machine city. Factorial Town, same difference. Or he can take you back to the secret beach cave, which is where we had to fight with the bandits and the war of Cedramon. The only thing back there for us guys though is an item. An item that... Oh, what's it called? I can't remember what the item's called. It's completely go it's gone. I've lost it. Um, but basically, it lets you digivolve to Digitamamon, which is an ultimate Digimon, and it's just a walking egg. That's all he is. He's pretty crap, so we're better off staying as Greymon. But if you do want an ultimate Digimon, you want to prolong the life of the Digimon you have, there's an option for you. Who else did we recruit in the last episode? Oh, yeah, I'll just show you real quick. I know we just recruited Penguinmon. This is Shellmon, by the way, from the previous episode. He basically puts up a notice board. Uh, you can read all different things here. So, like, this one says a legendary Digimon. Rumor is there is a cold weather Digimon in Friesland. Now, this is the one I was talking about, that when you get cold, you pass out, he saves you. That that activates that now, so that if I was to go back to Friesland, wait, pass out, it's activated, it'll come and save us. This little side entrance here. Digimon Curling. This is where Penguinmon is. I think if you want to play the game, you have to give him a fish. Doesn't matter what fish it is, you just have to give him a fish and you can play him and win different prizes from him. That's our latest additions to the city anyway. Just real quick, let's see what cash we have. 4,200. Okay, we're going to go back. We owe that Gururumon. He just took one of our three lives. Motherfucker. So we're going to go stock up. We need shitloads of these. Like a whole shitload, meaning 20 will do. And then we need a whole shitload of these too. We got 100 left, so just until we get our meat back from Palmon. Like, we are a little bit short on food. He's quite a big guy. I mean, he's he nearly weighs 50 kilograms, pounds, whatever that is, but he's he's up near, like, high weight, so, you know, a mushroom and two meat is really not going to fill him up, but hopefully it will be enough to get him past one hunger stage. Notice as well, guys, by losing that life, look at the Digimon's discipline and uh, happiness. He's absolutely mortified by losing a fight. Pride, gone. Happiness, Gone. He's fuming. 
We're gonna head on back to Freeze Land. We're gonna score to settle. And believe me, we're ready this time, guys. We got this this time. A little bit of a trek back, but part of the game. I remember saying right at the start of this playthrough about Piximon appearing here on the screen that I was on. We haven't seen Piximon yet. He is a very low chance to appear, but he does appear at some point. Very tough Digimon. It, I think when you beat Piximon, he joins your city, joins the shop, and he offers you a very special item called a training manual, which is quite expensive. I think it's something like 50,000 bits, which is a lot. You know, we haven't even reached 10,000 bits at any stage of this playthrough yet. We have Vegemon here. Unfortunately, we need the Rain Plant to be able to get him up. It's going to ask me if I want to use an item on it. But, there's no point. We don't have anything we can use on that. So, we're on... Sorry, guys. We're on day 13. When we get to day 15, 16, the Rain Plant will sprout back in Foul City. And uh, we can use that Rain Plant to get Vegemon. So yeah, we're aware that Piximon may be an option if we can get him to appear soon. Vegemon will be coming up in the next couple of days. Hopefully we're going to go back and settle the score with Garurumon. So we got our next, our next couple of recruits all lined up. So that's what will be happening over the next probably maybe two episodes. Maybe we can squeeze it into the next one. I don't know yet. But that's the plan, guys. That is... If Greymon does not pass away, I mean, I don't know what losing a life does to his lifespan, but every time I've played this before, it's been around the 12, 13, 14 mark. It all depends if he meets requirements to be an ultimate. Obviously, if he digivolves to an ultimate Digimon, then uh, I've gone shit the wrong way. If he digivolves to an ultimate Digimon, it will increase his lifespan and we'll have him a little bit longer. But... I'm pretty sure that the ultimate Digimon that Greymon goes to is like a metal version of him. And his moves are absolutely crap. Like we won't be able to recruit anything. They're high in MP. They're low in the damage they deal. It's really not a good Digimon unless you have like the more powerful moves. So we're nearly back here. Just entering into Freeze Land now. We are coming towards the end of this episode, guys, so usual stuff, you know, if you're enjoying, I'd like you to like, subscribe. I'll keep posting these videos. I can't get across, like, how important it is for you guys to have your input and make your voice heard. If you want to be involved, get involved. Leave a comment. Digimon. What Digimon are we having next? Give me some tips, give me some hints, and not just about the uh, game that we're playing, about the actual videos. You know, I'm new to this. There's uh, no reason why, no reason why I can't take tips, tricks, hints, constructive criticism off you guys. Help me out. Uh, I'm not sure quite where we're going. I think I took a wrong turn. Okay, yeah, I went up towards the Ice Sanctuary, which is no good to us yet, because we can't get in there with Greymon. So, we're... Take this way. Yeah, we're in the right place now. We're gonna... These are so hard to dodge, I swear they go from, like, 0 to 100 miles an hour. There you go. We're heading on up here. Uh, up past this passage and then down to the left. There we go. Like, oh, we need that just in case he gets hungry because we have no food. Okay, we're ready this time, guys. We've come to fucking. We've come to kick his ass this time. This will be the last part, so let's end it on a high. Let's end episode 12. Are we on 12? I hope so. Now that I've just said it, episode 13 maybe. 
whatever episode we're on, <laughs> let's end this on a high. You still hungry? Come on. There we go, right. There he is, the bastard. Are we fully healed? We're fully healed. Okay, let's do this. We got a score to set with you, you cut. Oh yeah, full bars. A little bit different this time round. One thing I have recently noticed when I'm making these videos for you guys is any of the battles you tap 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 like that and oh, that noise is so like ringy you don't want to hear that so for the sake of youtubers is all around I will stop that and bashing we're taking some serious damage here I'm not dealing a lot come on Garurumon's a strong Digimon. Maybe we should uh, aim for Garurumon next, guys. I'm pretty sure you can get the uh, smaller version of the Gabumon, I think it is, from the egg, so that would be an option. What, what would you guys think of that? Going for Garurumon next. Oh, it keeps doing that. Obviously, we can't defend while we're paralyzed. We all know he's got that devastating finisher lining up as well. I like the way that we never ever knock out the Digi... Oh, for fuck's sake. We never knock the other Digimon out of their finishers. Yeah, that's a bit unfair, I think. Literally, as fast as I am healing Kai... <laughs> He's getting stomped. Come on, Mega Flame. Now. No, oh, for fuck's sake. Sorry, guys. Pure frustration outburst there. We shouldn't be in this position. We've used 13, 14 now recoveries. Kai is absolutely sucking ass in this fight. We only have five left. This is going to be close. You can see this already. I can see us losing another life here, guys. Not going to lie. I mean, he's got a finisher lined up, but... You know, it deals way over a thousand damage, as we've seen in the previous encounter. If he uses that, we're pretty much screwed. I mean, there it goes. That, that is all of the recoveries. We're paralyzed again. Poor episode for the life of Kai. That's right, you just sit still. 800 damage. Seriously, this guy is dishing out death blows. Okay, moderate. Use Spitfire because... Nice. Spitfire. Now. Alright. Use Spitfire again. Don't let him use that finishing move on you. There we go. Finishing move. Turn around at the end. Can we make this a turn around? Yes, there we go, guys. I can't believe how hard that fight was. Garurumon is a beast. The worst part about this is that's not the first, it's not the last time we got to fight him. We got to fight him again. Thank you for the HP chip. Okay, so it's promised then. See you tomorrow. He basically wants a rematch with us. You have to turn up at 4 a.m. or 4 p.m. I'm going to set this guy down to sleep. Thank you for watching, guys. Please remember to like and subscribe. I will see you in the next episode, and we will be rematching with this motherfucker again. Laters.